Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Immaculate Heart of Mary Church as we celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And at this time, we invite you to welcome those around you. As we begin our Mass today, we take a moment to prepare our hearts and minds by reflecting on the words of Psalm 84. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield, and look on the face of your anointed one. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. Our Mass today is offered for Dorothy McCormack, as requested by the Lewis family. And our celebrant is Father Rob. Our opening song is number 310, The House That Love Is Building. Number 310. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate these mysteries, we remind ourselves of the Canaanite woman in today's gospel, how she persists in begging Jesus to heal her daughter. Lord Jesus, you are Son of David. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the sick. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the source of our great faith. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory. Lord 
prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just. For my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant. Them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For in their rejection is the reconciliation of the world. What will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of your disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that, by virtue of their memory, mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, Son of God. My daughter is tormented by a demon, and Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. But Jesus came to his disciples and asked, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The woman came and paid him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take food from the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall down from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour on. The Gospel of the Lord. At the end of the infancy narratives, there is a phrase that, and he grew, referring to Jesus, he grew in age, 
grace and wisdom before God. He grew in age, grace, and wisdom before God. We know he grew in age, we all do. He grew in grace according to what the scripture passage tells us. And he grew in wisdom. Knowing stuff and having wisdom are two different things. He grew in wisdom. And I suggest that in today's gospel, he has a moment of clarity, in a sense, a moment of growth in wisdom when he calls and realizes that he had only come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, but with this Canaanite woman, this Gentile, this person detached from and in exile, in exile from Israel and the Israelites, she had faith and called him three times Lord. She had more faith, apparently, than even the disciples of the house of Israel. He realized at that moment he did not only come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, but for all people. Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, how great is your faith. Let it be done as you wish. She was no longer a Canaanite, but she was a follower of the Lord, a believer in the Lord. And she really knew that prior to her asking. Somewhere along the lines, she grew in age and grace and wisdom. And so she asked for the healing of her daughter. What extremes people won't go to, to do well, to be well, to stay well by their children. Unfortunately, sometimes rifts occur in families. But no matter, parents always love their children, no matter what. I think the invitation for all of us is to be like disciples, disciples of the Lord, so that we may grow in age and grace and wisdom in our discipleship, in our serving of the Lord, in our understanding of this gathering of people. Katie, I hate to put you on the spot, but the, the, the opening hymn had a phrase in it about God. You might have to look at it. I'm sorry to do this to you. This is totally a surprise on her. And she's going to think I'm one of those dogs. From <laughs> what are you looking for, Father? Um, there's something. That... Thank you. You're welcome. Table of Plenty? No. No. House the house that love is building. There is room enough for all, an endless welcome in her rafters. There is room enough for all. And I hope and pray that there's room enough for all in our hearts. And there's, we know, because we know, there is room enough for all in the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, Katie. I owe you one. And in one voice we stand and pray, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light. Our substantial with the Father. Man for our salvation. He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary.
became man. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. We are called with all peoples and nations to praise God. Confidently we make known our petitions to the Lord. For our Pope and all church leaders, that they be blessed and inspired to lead God's people with care and creativity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local, state, and national leaders, that they serve their constituents wisely and honestly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may be instruments of God's mercy, guides for all, who are seeking God and companions to those developing a relationship with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are affected by the wildfires in Hawaii and other disasters around the world, that God will ease their pain, give them strength, and renew their hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ill, that they recover their health. For the dying, that they receive the care they need and for our deceased parishioners, relatives and friends, especially Bernadette Marin, and the victims of the Hawaii wildfires, that they rest in the peace of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for Dorothy McCormick, whom we remember in a special way in our Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers we hold in the depths of our heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all nations, Lord of all people, may all of us gathered here be blessed by your presence and serve others with charity, love, and joy through Christ our Lord. Our second collection today will be for the support of the church in Africa. Our operatory song is number 534, Prayer of St. Francis, number 534.
My brothers and my sisters, pray with me that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. <laughs> Receive, O oh Lord, the offerings of your people by which, about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given to us back to you, we merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us together give praise and thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall may become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him now the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoice forever in your presence. We pray that our voices may pray, joined with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise. Holy, holy, holy. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, so they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who before he was given up to a death he freely accepted at the time he was betrayed and entered into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, now as we celebrate the memorial of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all of the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. And have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have served you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in unity with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. now with all of the heavens and the earth. Together we pray, our Father who art in heaven, Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy and your love we may be always free of sin and safe from all distress, as we await with blessed hope the second coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our risen Lord be with each one of you always. And we may share with each other a sign of
Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed is the one who will feast forever at the supper of the Lamb. Our communion song is number 324, Pan del Cielo, Bread from Heaven, 324. If you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you remain que come mi cuerpo y bebe mi sangre permanece en mí yo en bread of life food for all the hungry bread of life heaven's loving sacrifice bread from heaven's all it's for the Paradise, el que come mi cuerpo y bebe mi sangre permanece en mí. If you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you remain. Bread of life, hope for all the lonely. Bread of life, love and grace and means to spare. Bread from heaven, comfort for the suffering. Bread from heaven, love beyond compare. If you eat of my flesh and drink of my you remain in me and I in you. El que come mi cuerpo y bebe mi sangre permanece en mí y yo en él. Bread of life, ocean of God's mercy. Bread of life, holy banquet from Bread from heaven, strength for all who journey. Bread from heaven, mystery of love. El que come mi 
cuerpo y bebe mi sangre, pero en ese en mí yo en él. If you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you remain. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that confirmed and conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his heirs in the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please see the bulletin and visit our website for information from the upcoming events, including our parish trip to the live show Moses uh, at the Sight and Sound Center. That's in September. There's some spaces still available. Uh, also, the upcoming Alpha and Beta programs, our Backpack Challenge, Kiwi basketball, and much more. And those of you who are in the summer seminar on summer in the cosmos, please make sure you see me after mass, okay? I have a special surprise. More homework. <laughs> and now may almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace to serve and love the Lord. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. You too, Father. Our recessional song is number 614, For the Beauty of the Earth. Number 614. Oh.